it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Life Made Easy. Today I got, I got a PC overview video of a SkyTech gaming PC on Best Buy's website. Sorry for the grainy quality. This is my integrated webcam. I'm not using my dedicated one. But that's all good. So, uh, yeah. If you guys haven't already, go check out the College Made Easy podcast. Linked in the description. We upload twice a week. Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go check it out. Do it with my friends. Awesome, awesome podcast. If you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe and hit the bell notifications, you guys get notified exactly when I upload. Be much appreciated. Shout out to the channel members, Tracy Markley and Titanium Ninja. And now let's hop in the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've now attempted to record this video three times, but we're going to get it this time and my audio is not going to get distorted. So let's hope. So SkyTech Gaming PC, I'm going to make this extremely brief and easy to follow is $9.99 on Best Buy's website. Do I recommend you buy a gaming PC from Best Buy? Not really. I would recommend building a PC yourself, looking on Amazon for discounts, or just buying it straight off of that comp that manufacturer's website. Those are my big tips. So let's hop into the specs of this thing. It has 4.7 out of five stars, so you know it's good. Um, so it has 46 reviews, so I kind of I trust that most people enjoy this PC just based on that sample size. Skytech Gaming, they compete with CyberPower, they compete with iBuyPower, they compete with MSI, Lenovo, HP, they compete with everyone. And uh, so they are traditionally known for making budget gaming PCs, which is awesome. I think PCs over time are getting really good and the price keeps dropping. So hopefully that we, we tend to, we keep moving in that direction, that would be amazing. So this is called the Shadow Gaming Desktop. It's AMD. It has an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 third gen CPU. AMD, fantastic. Honestly, I think it's doing better than Intel at the moment. 16 gigabytes of memory, which is great. That means you're going to be able to play all your games, have a large memory size, so you can edit, you can play graphically intensive games, you can have a gazillion web pages open in Google Chrome if you're if you're into that. The, the, the sky's the limit. Um, but this is the big thing for me right here, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. The Super is a slightly downgraded model from the just standard one. So, I mean, the 26, 2060, don't get me wrong, is a fantastic, fantastic graphics card. You're going to hit FPSs probably close to 200 on some like graph, low graphic intensive games. And it's like about to thunderstorm outside. This is nuts right now. But I'm filming a video anyway. So... Fortnite on this, honestly, you could get like close to 200 frames if you really wanted to. You're going to be able to play any AAA title. That's what I'm saying, basically. It's got a 500 gigabyte SSD, if I could highlight that. Uh, kind of small. Wish it was bigger, but you can install an external hard drive or another M.2 SSD in here if you want. Uh, do I recommend that? Yes. Is $999 a little, little steep for 500 gigabytes of storage? Yeah, kind of, to be honest. I mean, like, an Xbox One has five gig 500 gigabytes of storage, and it only costs... What's it like? You can get it on sale for 200 bucks. So, just put that into perspective. We've got some nice pictures here. I'm just going to run through these really quickly. Here's the back. That's what it looks like. All the uh, inputs and uh, display ports. View of the top. Some more USB 3s and uh, so audio jacks. Here's the front with the RGBs, inside red lighting. I think we have four fans total, which is great. Blue lighting, I think that looks really nice. So you can change the lighting up, which is amazing. Uh, and you can also go rainbow, like as you see here. There's the graphics card itself, MSI on there, solid. So I think with that many fans, this thing's gonna stay cool and quiet for the most part. I don't, I doubt it's gonna be wicked loud, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it has 4.7 out of five stars, so I think the majority of people like this PC. I would I would put the colors on green just to match my uh, channel, but hey, SkyTech, if you want me to review one of your computers, just send one out. I'd be happy to do a full review of it and not just an overview video, but oh, I think I just went back. Okay, I'm back. So this thing does not come with a keyboard and mouse, which is a little disappointing. Usually these budget-friendly uh, companies will include a mouse and keyboard. Sadly, this one doesn't come with it. If we scroll down. No, nope, I don't want to go under reviews. I want to go over specifications. There's some key things I want to highlight. Here's the storage capacity. Here's the RAM size. Here's the graphics card. 3.6 gigahertz clock speed. 
for the processor, the Ryzen 5, A+. Plus. That's awesome. We have a AMD 3rd Gen Ryzen 5. I know that's not important. Here's the name, which is this long spec, spec list. They do that just for uh, marketing sake, and it's easy for people to look at a quick uh, summary of just all the specs. So am I missing it? Where is the, yep, 8 gigabytes or 8,000 megabytes of video RAM. Awesome. That graphics card is what makes this a great computer. And Ethernet, if you're buying a PC that doesn't have Ethernet, I question who's making that PC. You can also play this with uh, VR. I mean, cool. Pretty sure most PCs can do that. And it's 20 pounds if you care about weight or maybe if you don't want something overly heavy. I mean, you don't lift up your PC too often, but that's the weight. And then there are the dimensions if you care. And maybe if you're fitting it in like a cramped space or something like that. And you get a one-year warranty, which is great. That's going to be it for this video, guys. The only things I think it could improve on is maybe a slightly better processor and maybe a little more storage. But that's basically it. The price, I think, is great that it's under 1000 If this was $899, i would say this is a must-buy. But overall, I'd give this machine a 8 out of 10. So, uh, I don't know. Take that as you will. My opinion, obviously, uh, is in everyone's opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. And, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you guys want to get notified exactly when I upload. A uh, decent percentage of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please, please, please subscribe. And uh, check out the Cause Made Easy podcast link below. It just says check out my podcast, and then with a the link, just click that. We have an audio version as well as a YouTube channel, which you can go subscribe to. So that's awesome. I'll see you guys in the next upcoming video. And also comment down below what you thought of this computer. Peace out, guys.